ओके गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग है और तो प्रीवियसली के के दोनों ट्रेलर्स ट्रेलर वन और टू के रिएक्शन करने के बाद में ये मेरा अनदर वन फेवरेट वीडियो है के से रिलेटेड यश से रिलेटेड इसमें जाबिक कोई ने उनका इंटरव्यू किया था स्काइप पे जाबिक कोई को ट्वीट किया था कि मुझे इसके लिए प्लीज़ परमिशन दीजिए इस वीडियो को रिएक्ट करने के लिए लेकिन उनका कुछ रिप्लाई नहीं है सो so, मैं वीडियो बना रहा हूँ प्लीज़ जाबिक कोए जी प्लीज़ गिव मी योर परमिशन सो आई कैन रिएक्ट ऑन यूर दिस ग्रेट वीडियो इंटरव्यू विथ यश यश का स्ट्रगल यश के लाइफ के इंसिडेंसेस यश के लाइफ की पूरी स्टोरी उसका चाइल्डहुड के जी एफ स्टार यश के जी एफ सुपर स्टार यश उनके लाइफ से रिलेटेड सारी चीज़ें हैं इन्होंने इसमें बात की है और हम लोग उसके बारे में सुनेंगे और हम लोग उसके बारे में सुन के हम लोग सीख सकते हैं इसके बारे में इसके बारे में सीखने जैसा बहुत कुछ है तो चलो देखते हैं जाबिक को इंटरव्यू के जी एफ स्टार यश ओके दस डू दिस and i hope chabi ko watch this and he feels good and he don't get angry on me please 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 i am requesting you don't get angry on me just give me a permission and uh, don't put a copyright claim on this video thank you thanks a lot for watching and let's continue this great interview let's watch this great interview Well, I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Char Kirk. Hi, guys. We're about to be joined by Yash, the star of KGF. I'm about to hit the call button on Skype right now. Here we go. And boom. Before I forget, uh, I wanted to say congratulations on uh, having a baby daughter. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. How's Radhika doing? Radhika is really, really fine. Yeah. Okay. He's doing great. I'm just so curious as to how it's been like, like going into fatherhood and the simultaneousness of this film being released. Like that's just super crazy because like this is like the biggest movie you've ever been part of, right? Yes. Yes. And like it's your first child. That's like a life changing event. It's like having two babies at once. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. True. True. But uh, my baby is gonna. Uh, I think she has brought in a lot of. luck and happiness in my life so i think in this kind of mindset uh, i have been able to do things better i've been running around with uh, a lot of excitement i know uh, how much ever i work hard back home there's one little angel waiting for me so i go there and I play with her and that's that's a wonderful feeling and yeah i think as an actor you should learn to balance everything or as a any yeah. individual any human being he has to balance work and personal life only then the life becomes complete and you should enjoy everything uh, i i enjoy my uh, quality time with my family as much as i enjoy working so it's the same and it's all about balancing right so it's all about balancing <laughs> so you said the, the film has been in production for 4 years but you've been in principal photography for 2 years yeah pre production went for 2 uh, years mm -hmm. and then uh, we started shooting like 2 years ago but we just for shot for 150 to 180 days i think i don't remember exactly but over a span of 2 years we shot for 150 or 160 or maybe close to 180 days So, so do I don't think shoots in India normally take that long, right? Like, yes, yes, it's a it's an ambitious film and a very big budget film. Shooting here. in India okay. so doesn't take that long. It, it was kind of very challenging to shoot in couple of locations, okay. so we had to take that much time. No, but there are films which have been shot for two fifty days, three hundred days. Mm -hmm. Comparatively, I feel I feel this is uh, less for what we have achieved. and that's because of the kind of technicians we have all of them are really wonderful yeah. and uh, their work is truly world class so so when you're shooting for like that long time span do you get days off and how many hours a day are you shooting see we do get day off see especially we you saw the portions where the mining thing is shown the gold mine portion yeah. there couldn't shoot more than 10 days okay that's like a, a dump yard that's the processed soil of that uh, gold field they've been dumping it there and they process it with the cyanide mm -hmm. uh, so it's called cyanide hills oh wow cyanide hills okay wow. so people you know kind of scared to 
spend more time there since yeah. uh, it's, it's not very uh, you know it's should be location kind of and food. very healthy also and people used to say you know uh, i'm not feeling well a lot of people used to uh, be very tired because the weather is also the extreme weather conditions mm-hmm. uh, it's too hot in summer Absolutely. and too cold in winter and it was very windy dusty and when uh, when it rains the whole sets a lot of times the sets have been destroyed so it was very challenging work with the help of our director uh, he did an amazing job no matter how many times the set got destroyed he, he, he was there and he was telling us that no, no problem so they are hard work take care of rest of the portion wherever the sets are okay you keep shooting that portion i'll get it done like this and he he did it he did an amazing job and i have a wonderful producer called vijay kirgandur umbale films and he was right there and he was telling is no problem okay. i know this happens, but you guys that. are trying to achieve That's something good. very big go ahead and he spent money like water <laughs> did you wow. did you get sick at all did you have to spend any time in the hospital like in that kind of environment no 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 not at all i think uh, it's all in your mind if you are strong then nothing will happen to you <laughs> oh, you're invincible <laughs> south indian side i'm invincible <laughs> And you come across as like a, a real badass in the movie as well. Was there any specific yeah, training that you had to do, or are you just naturally this cool? I'm naturally badass. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like. Uh, See, uh, here, if we have to survive as an actor, you should have that kind of uh, mass following and kind of mass audiences. Audience like that kind of an Indian, attitude. Some few Indian things, so we, we, I, I, especially I come from a very small town, mm-hmm. and I always It's wanted to be an actor, and I've grown up watching films. So I kind of believe that I'm a hero, a star since my childhood. So that comes naturally. <laughs> Is there anything for you that separates this from other action films that have come? for it um uh, it's it's kind of uh, different from what we do here mm-hmm. and uh, i always believe action it's it's not about how you kick a person or how you punch a person mm-hmm. it's the emotion behind it exactly. if the scene demands or if scene has a uh, as a sequence as a whole if it has a demanding uh, action sequence then that works So this film has got a lot of emotional action sequences where you feel like, come on, man, hit him. I just wanted to go back to talking about how you started in the film industry because I know that in India a lot of people come from film families, but yeah. you didn't. Like, what did you do to break into the industry and get to where you are now? I was crazy. <laughs> That's all I can say. See, the uh, uh, thing is, uh, when I was a kid. I used to, you know, participate in dance competitions and a lot of cultural activities. Wow. So then all my teachers, they kind of liked it, and I, I got addicted to that attention. What an actor gets. So they used to, <laughs> they used to uh, give a special importance to me. Even teachers used to call me, "Hello, hero, how are you?" So I used to feel, I, I kind of believed that I'm a hero. Uh, so when, when even in school, if they asked asked you, uh, "What do you want to be in future? When you grow up, what do you want to become?" So I used to tell, "I want to become a hero." <laughs> then everybody used to laugh at class. Uh, but then uh, gradually, as I uh, started taking it seriously. I realized how difficult it is to get into a film industry without any film background. I asked my parents. I said I want to study acting. I I said I want to join acting institution, acting classes. They said no, nothing going. You have to. But then after twelve, I I kind of ran away from my house. I ran off. <laughs> then I came. I came to uh, uh, Bangalore, and the city was completely. Uh, unknown to me i didn't even know a single person in the city so i had to really work hard so a lot of people helped me i got into theater i joined theater mm-hmm. i think that best thing happened to me i started working as a background artist a background actor you know what is background yeah, actor yeah 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 i used to do it too <laughs> <laughs> so there i could um, learn a lot of things and uh, enjoyed working there then i met couple of uh, wonderful uh, technicians and wonderful actors in theater all of them helped me and then got into television television uh, from television i went into movies here i am talking to you guys yeah Well, hold on, let's back up a little bit because it's like it sounds so simple when you like compress the story. So you landed in um, what did you Bangalore? Bangalore. What did you do? Like you, you did you did you know any friends? Like how did you survive? 
Ah, uh, see, I had no other choice. I had to stay here. My parents had told me one thing: don't go to any of the relatives. Hmm. Relatives. Do, <laughs> don't take anybody's help and spoil our name. Uh-huh. If you want to do it on your own. Okay. And if you come back, they're not going to let you go. So that's what they had told. Okay. And uh, I think they thought I will come back very soon. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was a responsible kid who didn't have much of an exposure about life. But I came here, and you know how these big cities are, especially uh, in our country. Uh, it's all crowded. Okay. So oh, continue. करते हैं part two में मेरा recording का ये process है मुझे stop कर 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 करना पड़ेगा. Okay. Continue करते हैं. Just hold on करना.